The Battle of Lepanto was a naval engagement that took place on October 7, 1571, between the fleet of the Holy Catholic League and the fleet of the Ottoman Empire. Today you are going to witness a presentation about this battle, and the sequence is as shown on the screen. The aim of this presentation is to enhance your knowledge about this great naval battle, the Battle of Lepanto. On September 15, 1570, the Famagusta, a Venetian colony on the island of Cyprus were sieged by the Ottoman Empire. Famagusta defenders surrendered on 1 August 1571 after fighting for 11 months due to exhaustion and lack of supplies and on the reassurance of leaving from Cyprus freely. However, the Ottoman commander, Lala Kara Mustafa Pasha, who had lost around 50,000 men in the siege, broke his word by imprisoning the Venetians. On August 17, 1571, Marco Antonio Bragadin was flayed alive, and his corpse hung on Mustafa's galley together with the heads of the other Venetian commanders. As the Turks were planning further invasion of Europe, a coalition of Catholic forces were rallied under the command of John of Austria, in Spanish Don Junda Austria, who was supported by Pope Pius V. His generals were Vero de Baz, Alexander Farnese, Luis de Ziaiga, Jane Andrea Doria, Sebastiano Venier, Agostino Barbarigo, Marc Antonio Colonna. The Catholic coalition was consisted with 206 galleys and 6 galleasses, from Republic of Venice, Kingdom of Spain, Grand Duchy of Tuscany, Republic of Genoa and Order of Malta. The fleet was manned by almost 13,000 sailors, 43,000 rowers and 28,000 soldiers including 10,000 Spanish, 7,000 German. 6,000 Italian and 5,000 Venetian soldiers. Most of the rowers were free oarsmen. The Christian League was outnumbered by the larger Turkish fleet of 230 galleys and 60 galleots. Under the command of Ali Pasha, the 13,000 experienced sailors were drawn from all the maritime nations of the Ottoman Empire, such as Egyptians, Syrians, Greeks and Berbs. The Turkish fleet included 34,000 soldiers. Unlike the Christian fleet, the Turkish fleet was powered entirely by Christian slaves and prisoners of war forced to row in chains. Though the Christians were outnumbered in every other way, the Christian League had two significant advantages. Their infantry was definitely superior and the Christians had 1,815 cannons, compared to 750 among the Turkish vessel. The Christians also had more advanced muskets, while the Ottomans trusted in their greatly feared composite bowmen. The five-hour battle was fought at the edge of the Gulf of Petros, off western Greece, near Corinth. Ottoman forces were sailing westwards from their naval base in Lepanto, when they were confronted by the Christian League fleet which had sailed from Messina. The battle started when the Turks mistook the large galleasses to be merchant supply vessels, and set out to pirate them. This proved to be disastrous, because the galleasses were a new Venetian innovation, carrying a tremendous battery of artillery. The six Venetian galleasses sank up to 70 Turkish galleys before the rest of the fleet could engage. The galleasses succeeded in breaking up the Ottoman formations. Commander Barbarigo, who led the left division of mainly Venetian galleys was killed by a Turkish arrow, and his second Pietro Giustiniani of the Knights of St. John, was severely wounded by five arrows. But the Venetians turned to face the threat and held the line. The flagships of John of Austria and Ali Pasha directly engaged, 
and Austrian soldiers overwhelmed the Turkish Janissaries by seizing the Sultana. Ali Pasha was killed and beheaded. When his severed head was displayed on a pike from the Austrian flagship, it had a devastating effect on Turkish morale. Spanish and German infantry flowed onto the Turkish vessels and in ferocious hand-to-hand -hand combat, overwhelmed the Turks. Over 210 Turkish ships were lost. Of these 117 galleys and 10 galleots were captured in good enough condition to be used by the Christian forces in future. The only prize captured by the Turks was one Venetian galley. On the Christian side, 20 galleys were destroyed and 30 damaged so seriously that they had to be scuttled. The Turkish losses were estimated as 30,000 dead and wounded and 15,000 prisoners. On the Christian side 7,500 soldiers, sailors and rowers were dead, but twice as many Christian prisoners were freed from Turkish galleys. Lepanto was a crushing defeat for the Turks, who lost all but 50 of their ships. The Battle of Lepanto following the Turkish defeat at the Great Siege of Malta in 1565, restricted Ottoman expansionism in the Mediterranean. It broke the threat of Muslim dominance at sea. Lepanto was one of the great turning points in history. It ended the fear of the Turks that had threatened to overwhelm all of Europe. It stopped the Turkish advance. Lepanto was one of the last major naval battles between rowing vessels. Some Western historians have held Lepanto to be the most decisive naval battle anywhere on the globe since the Battle of Actium of 31 BC. It certainly was a turning point in history. The Turkish Empire had lost so many experienced sailor, oarsmen and soldiers that the fighting effective of the Ottoman Empire was never able to recover. It is a fact that the Ottoman navy avoided major confrontations with Christian navies thereafter. The newly rebuilt Turkish navy rotted in their harbors. Historian Paul Davis wrote, I quote, This Turkish defeat stopped Turkey expansion into the Mediterranean, thus maintaining Western dominance. Confidence grew in the West that the Turks, previously unstoppable, could be beaten, I unquote. Lepanto heralded the end of Turkish naval supremacy in the Mediterranean. As historian Otto Scott observed, I quote NLY God could have saved so divided a Europe against so determined and savage, rich and heavily armed a foe. After Lepanto the Turks remain a menace but not an unconquerable one, I unquote. This is the end of my presentation. If you want to download this presentation with reading script, use following link in the description. Please click the like button and keep a comment if you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos please subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you very much and have a nice day.